Hello, how are you? Welcome to my channel. My name is Ruth and today I am doing um, the declutter part of my palette inventory, kind of. I suppose it's not inventory anymore because it's getting decluttered from my collection. Um, but if you, this is your first video, hello, how are you? You're very welcome. Come in, sit down, get a cup of tea. Great. I am moving, so therefore I am downsizing considerably. So this is why some of these items are going all things being well and I was staying here and had all my lovely space for my collection I would be keeping these I've already done a declutter this year earlier on and um I was happy with what I had left but these are just ones now that are maybe I have you know I can dupe out with my like if you've watched the last three videos I have quite an extensive collection I can easily dupe out shades and color stories and things like that with maybe better formulas or with a bigger palette or you know whatever the case may be so all that being said let's get into it first up we have this one this makes me laugh so much if you were here 12 18 months ago maybe I don't know I was trying to pan the Kat Von D, yeah it was Kat Von D at the time, Shade and Light palette, the eyeshadow palette. And I had moved my beauty room from the room over there to this room. And in that move lost this palette. I assumed it went in the bin. I assumed wrong, we know what assume does. And I uh, was obviously in the process of cleaning everything out. And in between... Uh, a notebook and a pack of envelopes was this shagging palette. <laughs> the same region is just the understatement of the century. It's too old now. I'm not putting this on my eyes. My eyes are too sensitive. I'm not going to risk it. Plus, it's been sitting in a wardrobe. No. But I was fuming at the time because one, I couldn't for the life of me figure out where this stupid palette went. It was driving me insane. And two, I was really enjoying penning it because it was the perfect uh, accompanying palette. You know what I mean? Because you just had all these lovely shades that could go with basically anything in your collection. So bye-bye. I'm, I'm delighted I found it because I'm like, I knew it. I knew I didn't throw it out. <laughs> so that one is gone because it's just ancient. Also leaving the collection is from Juvia's Place. This is the Blushed Rose palette. And while it is a very pretty palette and I'm so grateful to have been uh, gifted it, um, I have these shades in other palettes and I prefer them. I'm looking at it now and I'm so tempted to keep it. Stop it. No. No. Stop. Close the palette and put it down, Ruth, because otherwise it's going to end up staying. See, this is why this is very difficult, this declutter, because, like I said, I would have kept these. Here we are. Anywho, come on, Ruth, you can do this. This is the Revolution uh, Chilled Palette with Cannabis Sativa. Again, it's not a bad palette. Um, the glitters aren't great, but I enjoyed them on my nails. They looked really pretty on my nails. Um... And it's not a bad palette, but I have these greens over and over and over again in my collection at the moment. Uh, again, reference back to my last video specifically, because I have like the Be Perfect Carnival and Antidote and, you know, palettes like that, that have all these kind of shades in them. So it's an older palette in my collection and I'm going to let it go. This is tough, guys. I'm not going to lie. These are inanimate objects. I understand that, but still... In my heart, I feel like I'm, you know, breaking up with them and letting them down. But I promise that I keep them forever, you know? So, little insight into Ruth's brain. There you go. Next up might be a little controversial one. I don't know. This is the BH Cosmetics Hanging in Hawaii 16 Colour Shadow Palette. This is what it looks like here. I just don't feel like this performs for me as well as some of my others. Like, I kept the Lost in Los Angeles. I kept the Passion in Paris. Um, I have my lit list, you know what I mean? So I have loads of palettes from them to compare it to, but I just, um, I'll never hold it back here because it's quite shimmery or shiny packaging. Um, the color story speaks to me on so many levels, adore the color story, but just, I didn't find it worked as well as the others did. And I don't really have space in my collection at the moment for palettes that aren't working phenomenally. 
similar vein. This is from Primark. It is the PS Hypnotic Eyeshadow Palette. Uh, very pretty and again a beautiful color story but again it's fine it is usable you can get it to work and like I said I enjoyed the color story but it's just not good enough for me to be keeping in my more condensed collection we have some minis and the reason we're getting rid of so many minis is because one I don't need them I don't need them let's just leave it at that okay these are all elf bite size. One, two, three, four, five. Five of them. Um, I've enjoyed all of these. Please don't get me wrong. But none of these, for me, really are one and done palettes. So you have the Truffles palette. Look, at it's pretty, but it's quite dark. And I need something else um, with it. We have the Rosewater didn't love these ones as much there it is there this was a bit insipid for me um and the same i think with this one this was the uh berry berry red is it just didn't pack have enough oomph for me uh, and this one was such a disappointment i'm missing one did i already get rid of it this year huh Hot jalapenos is on the missing list, guys. Anyway, uh, this was a real disappointment. I thought I'd love this, and it was just not, didn't, it wasn't, th this mint shade really was the reason I bought it, because I, I loved that kind of look. Do you know, having this on the top kind of lid, and then just having the mint in the bottom lash line. Uh, but no, the mint was so powerful for me. And this one was nice, but it, it seemed to irritate my eyes. Maybe there's a lot of red in it. Pumpkin pie. Um, so not necessarily a bad one, but just irritated my eyes. It was quite impactful and nice on the lid. And um, yes, I'm lacking a lighter shade though in it. And then, so where is Hot, hot and Jalapeno's gone? Hot Jalapeno was the green one. The really strong greens beautiful little palette if you have no other greens in your collection it's the perfect little companion palette to give your collection a little bit of oh look i have a bit of colorful fun kind of coming into my collection so you know if you're not one that normally likes to dip into colors and doesn't want to be buying a big huge colorful palette that hot jalapeno one is a lovely little palette i don't know what's happened to it it is obviously gone the way of the dodo also leaving my collection yeah, no, it's leaving my collection. This is the Natasha Denona Peak Palette. And I think... I think it's a bit too warm for me, personally. I'm struggling to let it go, guys. But no, 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 come on now. Um, yeah, I didn't love it on my eyes. And I found the mattes in this one a little tougher to blend out than others in this Natasha Delona collection. Stop looking at it. Put it down, put it away. We can do this guys, we can do this. And lastly, we have a load of singles. A load of singles. So I literally went through all of my singles collection. First of all, I found dupes, you know what I mean? Shade dupes, whatever. Then I found and kept, you know, what I preferred. Then I kind of went through, you know, shades that I liked, but the quality was so par, etc. So, we have a lot of, we have a lot of Colourpop here, guys. A lot of Colourpop. This is all Colourpop here. Uh, these are Kaleidos. Didn't really like them. And I have those shades again anyway. Um, but yeah, the majority is Colourpop. The only full Colourpop palette I've kept is the Child palette because that was gorgeous. But I have these shades over and over again. I shouldn't have purchased them. Look at, I'm very aware of this. I do this. I buy palettes that I already have, but I suppose I bought these when I initially, you know, um, was able to order Colourpop. I found, do you know what I mean? I got a deal where it was free international shipping, so I, I went for it and I bought palettes I probably shouldn't have bought, but we are where we are, you know, I did what I did. These are all going. And then in here we have quite a mix. I have some, Makeup Geek, I have some, a lot of Zoeva shadows actually that I, I took out of palettes and I shouldn't have done because they just went here to die essentially, which is, you know, 
sad. I, look, it's a lesson learned. You know, this is not something I need to do anymore. I do not need to depot unless I just want one colour from a palette or something like that. Um, but these were duplicates or just not great quality or just not a good colour for me, etc. So these are all being decluttered as well. Yes, they are. Stop looking at them. Turn them upside down. So, look, I know it's not a massive declutter, but like I said, I have got better with purchasing palettes. You know, I know what I have in my collection now, and I've tried to only bring in things that either the formula is completely different to what I have, or I know I love the formula and the color story, etc. I've got a bit better. Um... I have to stop looking at it because I'm like, oh, but what if I no? Just blinkers. Don't don't look that way. <laughs> it is what it is, guys. They're going. They have to. I mean, I know it's not a massive declutter, but like I said, I feel like I'm not going to declutter just for the sake of decluttering. I, I'm not that way. I don't like to do that. That's very wasteful to me. I'm hoping I can find homes for all of these. That is the hope. I hope I'm not going to be jumping anything. I don't think I will because I have a, a couple of nieces coming up now that are kind of getting into makeup and stuff. So these are perfect starting off kind of, you know, they can play with them and, you know, do whatever they want with them. Um, but yeah. What do you think of my declutter? I, no, we're going to stop saying it's a bad declutter because it's not, you know, like I said, it's no point just decluttering for decluttering's sake. Um, but yeah, let me know what you think down below. I hope you enjoyed this video, guys, and hopefully I'll chat you in the next one. Take care. Bye. Sloth.